internet browsing, online shopping, conversations, and calls on social media, online movies, or online work, all this is due to the internet. It influences so much the way we live, but how many of us know its story? The beginning of the internet took place in the 1900s, when Nikola Tesla talked about the possibility of connecting the world through a world wireless system. However, this took another 60 years until this idea came to a fruition. Thus, at the beginning of the 1960s, J.C.R. Leclerc from MIT University popularized the idea of an intergalactic network, which later led to the creation of the concept of packet switching, a method that allowed the electronic transmission of data. Before it came to be used as we know it, the internet was used by the government researchers to share information. And because the computers of that time were huge, the stored information could be accessed either by direct access to the computer or by sending magnetic strips to the conventional postal system. The Cold War changed the way access to information was carried out. Specifically, the launch of the Sputnik satellite by the Soviet Union led the U.S. Department of Defense to consider ways in which information could be disseminated even after a nuclear attack. That is how ARPANET, Advanced Research Projects Agency Network, was born, which allowed several computers to communicate in a single network. On October 29, 1969, computers at Stanford and UCLA were connected for the first time, and the first message sent over the network was supposed to be login. But the network crashed when the letter G was typed. In 1970s, Robert Kahn and Venton Cerf gave birth to TCP, Transmission Control Protocol, which further established the communication model between computers. The first email was sent in 1979 by programmer Ray Tomlinson. He's also responsible for the use of the at the rate sign to separate the email address from the provider name. ARPANET took over TCP on January 1, 1983, which is considered the official birthday of the Internet. The invention of DNS, the common use of TCP, and the use of email was a quick consequence of the growth of activity on the Internet. However, advanced computer skills were still required to access the system and use it effectively. So, the solution came from a British computer scientist named Tim Berners-Lee. He invented the World Wide Web in 1989, and on August 6, 1991, he launched the first website in history with the address info.cern.ch. Also in 1993, the first browser address to the general public was launched. Mosaic had a friendly visual interface easy for users to use, being the most downloaded internet browser at that time. However, in 1994, the first competitor appears, Netscape Navigator, which wins a large share of the market. In 1992, there were 10 websites in the world. Two years later, the number of sites reached 2,738, and in 1996, there were over 100,000 websites. In 1998, the one that will become the most popular search engine to date, Google appears. However, technological progress and the emergence of many companies in the internet field, such as Apple, Microsoft, and Yahoo, led to the development of a speculative bubble. Thus, between 1997 and 2000, the dot-com bubble developed, which led to a strong increase in the economic values of internet-related companies, ultimately bringing about the bankruptcy of a large number of companies. After the collapse of the internet bubble emerged, Web 2.0, an internet with emphasis on social networks and user-generated content and cloud computing. The Facebook, as the social media platform was originally called, was born in 2004, and a year later YouTube was launched, the most popular search engine for video content at the time. Thus, the emergence of social networks such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram created a new world and became some of the most popular sites on the internet, allowing users to share their own content with their friends and the whole world. Also, with the advent of smartphones, the number of internet users from around the world exploded from approximately 1 billion in 2005 to over 5.3 billion in 2002, that is over 66% of the world's population. The evolution of the internet did not stop here. If 20 years ago no one imagined that a refrigerator will be able to tell you when it runs out of milk or eggs, today smart devices can synchronize with smartphones to give you different information or do different things orders. We could say that we are on the threshold of a new internet revolution, of a new era, Web 3.0. In short, Web 3.0 is largely based on blockchain technology, cryptocurrencies, but most importantly, decentralization technology. Essentially, this way allows users to control over their personal data, privacy, and what they create online. 
Also, companies around the world are working on technology to revolutionize the way we navigate the web. As you already know, from surfing the internet in the usual way, we have the opportunity to walk virtually through a three-dimensional version of the internet called the Metaverse, a digital world where users can work, buy things, or meet new friends. Where do you think the internet will stand in the next 50 years?